Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft! Last time we spent all our time making this little beautiful bridge over here. I say little, look at it. It extends over the vast majority... I say the vast majority of the nether. Over this little cliff face of the nether here. Uh, so we could come over to the witch hut through this portal. As I'm sure most of you are aware, it takes a fair bit of preparation to make a witch hut a viable farm. All this area around here, we've got to make completely spawn safe. And of course, because we're in a swamp, that means we can't just light it up. Oh, no, no, no. If we were to just light it up, every time the moon is not... Not not new moon? Whenever we can see some of the moon, <laughs> slimes will spawn on the ground over here. So that's no good. Underneath the ground, we got caves where other monsters will spawn. And all the time that they are spawning elsewhere, they're not spawning in the witch hut. Now, this is a, a little bit of a shame. And I've got to say, actually, when I was running around and putting all these torches down, I did actually manage to get a witch to spawn. But to sort this area out completely nicely and the way that I'd want to, I need to get a couple of farms on the go. Those farms are going to be uh, the Prismarine from the Water Temple. That's the way that I'm looking for. Water Monument. That's, that's the phrase I'm looking for. The Water Temple. And of course, I need some creeper farm. Because who couldn't do with unlimited gunpowder when they're working with an area to prepare? But the whole of last episode, we had this little building over in the corner over this way. Maybe we'll uh, make our way thuswards. You can see that we've got ourselves a bit of a fortress over there. And I thought, you and me, right now, we could go around and explore it a little bit. Oh man, it's dark in the nether as always. Given its location, I feel like... This one shouldn't be explored. Let's use some ender pearls here. It's why we've got them after all. Please don't go in the lava. Uh, this looks good. Oh, I was going to say it shouldn't have been explored, but look, we've got some stuff here. So uh, maybe maybe someone has gone through and explored. But I'm going to take out this fence post. And man, it is dark. Let's start by putting down some torches here so we can see what's going on. It looks safe-ish. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go see at least if there is anything in this chest over here. Oh, yeah, we got some stuff. We've got a flint and steel so we can finally get our way out of the nether. I mean, that wasn't the thing that was stopping us leave the nether. The thing that is stopping me leave the nether uh, is not my hunger, but the fact that I don't I don't actually want to leave the, the nether. I'm having a good time hanging around and doing things here. That's a bit of a dead end. I'm going to literally go around. We're going to do this. I'm going to um, hang about. Let's change my pickaxe for a diamond axe. Make sure I didn't drop it because I didn't feel like I put it into the slot properly and then break all these chests so that when I'm walking around, I know exactly where we've been. Of course, every, come, every time I come to a junction, I put down a marker saying where we've been, two, and then the one, and the one points in the direction that we're going to go. Possibly a little bit overkill for this particular area. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Oh, look at these nether warts. Beautiful, beautiful. I think, once again, I'm just going to smash that chest out. I was expecting lava down there. Lol. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. This place has had not had its nether warts raided out. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Almost guarantees that this is a fresh place. Because, you know, who leaves stuff behind? i tell you who leaves stuff behind. The Elder Council. We all leave stuff behind because one thing that really annoys us is turning up to a nether fortress, going through, finding out that everything has been raided and they couldn't even be bothered to replant the nether warts. In fact, should we go through and do this right now? I think I'm going to do this right now. Guys, soul sand is found everywhere. Don't rip this up because you need soul sand. There, there is literally all around out there. Just replant it so the next person coming through can get their nether warts. All right, upstairs we go. It looks... Like, I'm going to have to hit my way through here. Uh, I'm going to have to swap my, my tools around all the time. Who knows what we're going to find. Uh, a little surprised that we've not found some bad guys. Decipher is currently AFK in spectator mode, so there is not a chance that he's loading any bad guys up. Uh, unless, unless something's happened that I'm not aware of, and suddenly spectator loads up a bunch of bad guys. But I think we're all good like this. I'm not sure if maybe he's doing it to keep his iron farm turning, and I don't know... I don't know whether that would work. I don't think it does. Oh, look, there's there's the bridge over there. That's cool. I yeah, I don't think it does, but it's worth keeping a note of. Is that a blaze there? That is a blaze. Okay, let's go fight that guy. We know what we need to do. In fact, I've, I've even got this uh, this bow here. Uh, for those of you wondering why it says Mog, that's because uh, I've got upside down writing on the guy. I should probably explain that to you guys. I did it the whole time last time without anybody actually noticing. English, United Kingdom, upside down. I live in the United Kingdom. I'm not a UK. Uh, I'm not an American. So, uh, no, I wanted a better way. A Statesian. I'm not a Statesian. Because, of course, the Americans, that, that's like two entire continents, right? Can't just let the Statesian have the, the entire word America. But, yeah, again, uh, it, it all depends on which li you know, linguistic uh, history you subscribe to. Because, obviously, the South Americans, 
They uh, they, they call the, the Americas the Americas, but we don't. We call them North and South America, so that's a completely different thing. And I've been waffling on for too much here, and we've found ourselves a dead end. going to go back to somewhere that's not been explored. Okay, right back at the beginning, that's fine. Uh, I'm really here looking for a blaze spawner, if I'm to be honest with you. I know that lots of people have found blaze spawners, and a few of them have even asked me if I can make a farm out for them, but... As this was like right here, I thought I'd go around and have a little bit of a look and see what we can do ourselves here. Okay, we've got a junction. Let's just quickly put in a bit of a... Oh, there's a spawn up. Beautiful, beautiful. Bit of a sign saying where we need to go. Can I run in and... Oh, no. No, I can't. That's, that's the uh, long and the short of it. No, I can't. Don't set me on fire. Uh, please, please, please. No. All right, we've got them. Uh, more, more torches. Uh, okay, so I do happen to know that torches are actually not very good. Oh, that's all the torches I have on me. Uh, not very good for stopping blazes spawning uh, because blazes can spawn in like light level 12 or above, right? Oh, hey, how you doing there? You see how he was like right next to the torches? Did I get him? Did I get him? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, die. <laughs> uh, so we need to... <laughs> Man, that was more fun in games than I was expecting. Uh, so yeah, we need to go around. We need to light this up properly. I don't know... Whether this is the one that I'm going to use or not. It seems a little bit open, but the uh, the farm design I was going to use here was to make everything glass. Oh, man. So we could, like, super hacks their pathfinding abilities because it turns out the blazes, and, and most animals, uh, most mobs, actually, can only... Oh, don't push me into the lava. I'm not sure if I've got my fire resistance on me. Let's get over here. Woo-wee. Do I have a fire resistance? Let's put that on there. That's better than a bucket. I'll tell you that much. Better than a bucket. Could you imagine falling into the water and then just kind of throwing throwing a, bo a bucket of water down in the hope that it will save you. Ah, oh, I mean, I, I don't even know if in the nether you'd make obsidian or not. Does this feel safe? It feels feel somewhat safe. And is, is, is there one blaze spawner and a bunch of wiggly wiggly path? I suppose that's cool. I was kind of hoping there'd be more. I wonder what's up here. Oh, it's dark. I'll tell you that much. Uh -huh. Okay, so from there, I saw this over here. I was like, well, what's up here? It turns out, of course, is the bit we've already explored. Uh, so, actually, thinking about it, we should now... Yeah, that's the bit that spews out on the side. There's nothing underneath. I think we've gone through and explored this very small piece of nether fortress. Okay, so I went and said, I think, have you explored? And then, like, this is the bit that I said spews out on the side. We literally, like, just stood up there. Jumped down here because I don't know... Whether we've been through here or not. <clears throat> I don't want to use the scaffolding while we're in the nether because it is valuable, too valuable to use as just leaving around material. Yeah, okay, so we have definitely explored all this. Do you guys uh, want to come and see where I'm going to be doing some other things? Okay, so from the nether fortress, we get back on this nether road, following it all the way down to the junction at the bottom. Find ourselves here, where the tunnel spews out and the path starts over there. And there's this new path going up here. Me and Mad Frank came down here, oh, it must have been like three days ago to come and see what we could do over this way. This spews out onto this tiny island here. And I'm not sure, yeah, over there you can see that this is where we keep the maps for the Trouble in Twitchy's Tower, the Trouble in Terrorist Town uh, clone that I have built. And I still have not been able to get everybody onto voice chat or whatever to see if we can test it out. Uh, I did do some uh, armor stand tests with a few friends and fixed the whole doors not opening issue. Turns out there was just a bit of a timing issue. Uh, if I had just sped up the door opening process, it ends up that it would have uh, snapped open. So, you see, we've got this little thing here. Why have we got this little thing here? Well, honestly, it's because we're in the middle of the ocean. We couldn't see anything. What I did was I swam out into the middle of nowhere and set my render distance to the same as the server. And when I did that, that island disappeared. So I'm uh, good to say that that island is actually not a uh, not a loadable item. That over there, maybe. Might need to try and do something about that. But if we come all the way to the top of this little scaffold tower that we've got here, you can see that we have been building something a little bit tasty up top. So up here, we've got a bit of magic happening. You can see we've got some spawning platforms, and at the very top there, we've got a whole a load of glass. Now, the glass, of course, is an AFK platform up so high that hopefully we don't actually load the ground down below. Uh, me and Mad Frank, we went into a test world, and uh, I went and stood at various Y heights, and he was in spectator mode down below. We were over, like, normal ground, not over water, and we got up to the point where the mobs were despawning on the floor. Uh, and uh, not just despawning, instantly gone, just psh, gone. Uh, so this was the height we wanted, and then from 25, something like that, maybe up to 32 blocks below, 
uh, we've got these spawning platforms down here. Now, the reason for that distance is because, of course, mobs will not spawn within a like a 25 block radius of the player. That's because it's a little bit unfair if you're walking along and suddenly a witch spawns right behind you, right? So the uh, the great gods of Minecraft, Nod, Notch and Jeb, decided that you should have a bubble, a safe bubble around you. Outside that safe bubble, you have um, the, the mob spawning zone. Now, mobs will spawn anywhere outside that bubble. Anywhere. But from level 25 to 32, they will stay active and they will stay walking around. So that's what these platforms are. We can actually build more platforms underneath. Uh, and as we're going to use cats to scare them, we're going to put scats, uh, cats in the middle. Uh, this is going to be just an entire creeper farm. I should probably have pointed that out first. So, I don't know if you guys are aware, but zombies and skeletons, they are two tall mobs, like two blocks tall, the same as me. If I press uh, F3B, you can see that I've got this little bounding box here, uh, and I fit exactly under two boxes. I missed it. I wanted to go backwards. So yeah, I'm not sure who originally came up with this idea for this farm, but as you can see, uh, I am two blocks tall. If we were to put a half slab or slash a uh, trapdoor above us, this would stop two tall creatures being able to spawn. We need something about this tool to spawn if we're going to do that. And can you guess how tall creepers are? Yeah, they're about this tall, uh, which is great. But of course, we've got other things that can spawn in this sort of space. Uh, spiders, they're also short and can uh, spawn in on quite a large space. But if we were to put half slabs uh, roughly where these nether rack are, I think we could actually push it out one block or something. Uh, but if yeah, we were to put half slabs down, that would block the spider spawning attempts because obviously they need a two by two space. Um, because they're wide, right? They're, they're big fat boys. So uh, that needs to fit in there. And so we can completely control what spawns in this space. I want all the creepers. I just want that TNT. Well, I think we've got all the block work done now. There are a few things missing to make this a working farm, but if we were to take all the torches out, this would technically start making mobs now. We've got a killing system underneath, and we've even got mine carts with an unload station. So we've got the spawning platforms up high. The creepers run off over the side and onto the magma blocks down below. Let's just break my scaffolding so we can come and have a look. Down here, we've got a bunch of mine carts going back and forth. That was a little too low. A bunch of mine carts going back and forth. Have they got stuck? No, they have not. Two unloading stations at either end. These guys come in, and if they've got stuff inside them, they start putting items in... Why doesn't that work? That... That should have stopped it. Ah, I see what I've done. I see what I've done. So yeah, as I was saying, these ones will come along. And if they've got an item inside them, that will go in there. The comparator will pick up the signal that the item is there. It will obviously drop out of the hopper minecart into the hopper. The comparator picks it up, turns off this torch, which turns off this redstone, uh, this repeater here, which turns off the powered rail. And as soon as the item then drops all the way through into whatever system we've got taking it up to the top there, the powered rail turns back on because obviously all the items have gone. The signal turns back on. Bam, off it goes onto its merry way uh, again. Let's see if these guys are going to knock each other and uh, sort that out. That, that, not the best. Okay, okay, that's... That's livable. That's dealable. Hey, buddy. But to make this a working farm, you might be going, hey, how are the creepers going to just run over the side? Well, let me tell you, not only do I need a bunch of trapdoors, which I keep forgetting to do, uh, we also need cats. Cats for the middle. And I know where we can go and get a bunch of cats. Of course, before we can get a cat, we need a thing to tame a cat with. Thankfully, down here, I seem to have a whole a bunch of salmon. Oh, look, I've also got cod and some tropical fish. This is my uh, little fishing farm here. This is actually now redundant. We don't use the ones in the overworld anymore because obviously, like, people like to sleep. So, uh, yeah, we don't we don't use this anymore. But uh, I've got, like, little little end chest back here to take all the good stuff. And anything that I don't want, I end up, like, grindstone in here and throwing the waste products down. So let's say that I thought this Power 3 bow was the worst invention ever come to come along. And to be honest, you're like, I've got a nice bow. I don't need another one. So I'd do that. I'd get the AXP off of it and just <clears throat> let that go down there into the fire. And so that's, that's a nice little system there. One that I recommend everybody adopts to get the, those final last bits of XP that you want. Right. Now, as I say, I know where we can get some cats. Oh, that... Whilst we're walking past, I have to mention that there was a sad time with the uh, impression of innocence. I'm going to have to uh, come back and try and 
catch some more. I wanted to put some ice underneath them. So what I'm going to do this time is prepare the area and then get the, the creepers. It's a little bit of a shame because it was a bit serendipitous that they actually appeared. I'm not sure if I told you guys the story. I was mucking around on Turtle Island and a couple of creepers were coming after me. And like whilst trying to dodge them, they ended up walking through the portal. A little bit embarrassing, as I'm sure you can imagine. But I was like, oh, no, they're, they're, they're through the portal. I can't. I can't walk through there. I'll blow up everything. So I uh, put a boat on the floor and like nudged it in through the uh, through the portal space. I'm sure you know what I'm meaning there. Uh, and it teleported off, and uh, I then ran all the way around off to spawn uh, and came back and found them in the boat. And we then used like fishing rods to pull them down off the off the side. It was quite quite an ordeal, and I'm a little bit sad. A, a little bit sad is actually an underestimate. I'm quite a lot sad that we killed them or that. I say we, that I killed them, uh, and I'd, I'd really like to put that back at some point. Now, that there's supposed to be cats around here, but, ah, uh, there's one. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Now, this is Decipher's place, or at least that port... Oh, I, I looked around too quick. That portal is Decipher's place, uh, and I do know that he has a bit of trouble with the cats just kind of, like, wandering away. So, when I was mentioning that I needed cats to him, he was like, yep, come and get them. So here I am, coming to get him. Hopefully I'm going to get this nice little ginger one. I think there's another one out and about as well. As well. Bam! You are my friend. Hey, how you doing? Uh, we'll come up with a name for you. Look, they get coloured collars as well. I don't have any way of uh, dyeing that. But I think like the, like the dogs, you can just change it. Okay, I'm not sure how far away the cats would walk. Also, there's little like poke holes here and everything. But oof, probably don't want to teleport like that, cat. Just, just saying, just saying. Okay, I don't think he's going to come out this far. Uh, okay, I'm going to look around, try and find the other one, because I know there is another one out here somewhere, uh, and I will get back to you. Look, never fortress up there. There he is. Oh, look, all I had to do was look down at the right time. Okay. Do you reckon I can crouch and get upon him? I don't know, I don't know. Let's uh, walk around the corner a little bit faster here. Hi. Was that too much for you? Don't please don't go through the pool. I don't. I don't want to have to go and load up other areas. That would be very disappoint. Very disappoint. Hey! Oh, look at your eyes, buddy. You do look good. Bam! Only one bit of fish each time. Is that is that a a, a constant? Is that is that something that is forever now? Let's just have a quick look around, see if we can find any more. But if not, I'll see you guys back at the farm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, we're not back at the farm. Oh, excuse me, cat. Please don't stand there. We're not back at the farm. We've not found any cats, but we have found this nether fortress, and I don't know whether this is one that people have explored or not. Obviously, uh, Decipher has come along and put his cobblestone down, but I'm not sure if it's anyone that we know of. Like, can I go through here and get to spawn? Uh, answer's coming in a moment. Okay, walking up and over the top. Spawn is actually back the way we came from, so I've, I've got a feeling... This, I mean, is this a nether place? Yeah, it is. Who's loading up all the all the mobs? We uh, surely should be seeing some bad guys here. This this appears to be somewhere where we can farm enders. Look, someone's got their farming chorus. Yeah, no, this uh, not enders. Sorry, withers. That were totally totally my misspeak there. Have we got a working blaze spawner here? It sounds like there might be an actual blaze farm here. I heard. The, the, the spawning, and then I heard a bunch of pistons fire, but I'm not sure how I get down there. And I don't want to start digging through, because, man, you know what would happen if I did that. I'd let them loose. They'd all go, oh, down here, maybe? Down here? This looks like, maybe, an access way. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Let me get my stabbing McStab stabs out and see if we can... Are you guys backing out of the way? You sit down... You sit down. All right, cool. Let, let's see if these guys are... No, they're not softened. Okay, but that that's cool. They don't necessarily have to be softened. Would have been nice, though. You know, you just put a piston up there with a timer on it, and you, you've you got yourself a really good spawner here. Uh, anyway, enough about that. Let's get back to what we're doing. <laughs> so I said earlier on that I wasn't sure whose design this is. I think I'd like to revise that statement. Going through and digging through the annals of YouTube, I believe it's actually Logical Geek Boy, a uh, Hermitcraft hopeful. Uh, let's do that. Are you guys not ready to get your get your love on? There we go. Uh, so my life now is going to be basically just making a whole bunch of kittens, trying to get them into minecarts and putting them up there. The oh, hey, 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 do, do you even? 
Do you even? Trying to put them in minecarts and get them up there. The reason I want to put them into minecarts is when I get attacked, they'll like jump around. <laughs> Beg your pardon, mate. They'll jump around and teleport and try and come to my aid and stuff. And that's no good. So we can uh, get around that by putting them in uh, minecarts up there. Just look at the view from up here. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do, down there, misaligned, is hanging with my cats. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, but your pets will teleport to you after over great distances if they are free to walk. Now, those cats down there, they're not free to walk, are they? No, no, no. We have made them uh, sit down and crouch. Hopefully, Miss Lion is now going to go ahead and uh, push one of those cats in to the water to make them stand up. And as if by magic, suddenly we've got a cat over this side. So I'm going to turn this lever on. And we're going to start this uh, minecart track. You know what? I haven't put any... Trap doors up here. But you know, that's fine. We're gonna get that minecart rolling. We're gonna push this cat in, and just like that, we've got a cat on a track on a in a cart. This is amazing. So I'm gonna go around, we're gonna do that a few more times, and I think that's actually, other than getting these trap doors on this floor above my head, this creeper farm up and done. Oh look, another one's appeared. Well, guys, we got it turning. It finally got working. Oh, that didn't mean to open my, open my infantry there. There were a few things we had to do to make sure it would work completely because, ha <sighs> wouldn't you know it, Minecraft 1.14 is a buggy, buggy mess. To any servers and or single... Hang about Single player players out there, if your world has gone through an update, I have a public service announcement for you. All the mobs that were in your world when it went through an update have lost their despawn timer. So if you've been wandering around, like I have, in the nether, being like, oh, I don't think there's any bad guys around, and blaming it on someone else being on the server, you're wrong. That's not what's going on. That's not what's going on at all. There's a whole bunch of bad guys out in your caves or on the surface, you know, just hidden around as bad guys are likely to do. And they have lost their despawn timer, so they literally will never despawn from your world, meaning that nobody else can actually spawn in. Bit of a problem for a farm like this, I'm sure you can tell. I had to get pretty brutal. Um, I was running the um, TP at E. Um, that is for any type of... Uh, sorry, I've got caps lock on. That is for any type of entity. And then you go type equals. And I went through all of them. I went from zombie first. Uh, and then I took the that com command there. So this would teleport a zombie to me. If I then go minus 200, it will teleport all the zombies down into the void underneath. Now, I'm not going to do that because I've had a little bit of a problem. I managed to kill uh, Wise's receptionist. Didn't mean to do that. But, you know, it happens. But with that, I'm going to say thank you. Oh, wait, there's one thing I forgot to show you. Not a very good video showing a farm if we don't show the rates. Now, bear in mind, this is about four hours. Bam. So we got about this much up here and this much down here. We have been getting a bit of string, but I know why. I watched the replay. There's a, uh, there's a carpet missing. Uh, but we are getting a fair amount of gunpowder here. Did any make it down here? No. Who stole some gunpowder? Someone legitimately steal some gunpowder off me. Did I just throw it around? I don't know. That could be something that I've done whilst I was opening and closing. But yeah, as you can see, we have got a fair amount of gunpowder here. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we're going to try and work on the sponges. That is the next thing we need to get. We've got a water temple out in the ocean beyond the maps. And we are... Uh, we being me and the Elder Council and maybe some other players. Register your interest if you are uh, interested, though probably we'd have done it by the time this video comes out. But yeah, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye! Can't click and row at the same time. Bye!